Is it going to start recording? Yes, it is. See, for some reason, it stays on zero for like ages. Um, right. It's been a while. Let me just, I haven't got a table in front of me, so there's stuff on the floor. It's been about two weeks since my last video, and it's about time I do another one. Um, I'm still meaning to do my unique presenter's kit reveal. Um, I'm struggling with lighting at the minute. Let's see if I show you. I am sat in front of my window, but I don't think my window's making any difference. I'll show you. Uh, it's not that dark out there, but it's certainly not lighting. Because it's about 10 to 5, and obviously we are in November now, so it's getting darker early and obviously while I'm at uni during the day I can't do any videos and I don't get back until it's dark but if I don't do it now it'll be like after Christmas um, before the lighting's better and anyone who knows me knows I cannot leave something unwrapped for too long or wrapped rather can't leave something without unwrapping it there we go um, so, we're going to do our second unboxing today. Um, I'm going to start off with uh, a few comments about the last one. Um, for anyone that's not seen my last one, go ahead and watch it. Uh, that will be everyone, because no one's seen it yet. So, uh, yes, traffic is a little slow on my channel at the minute. Uh, hopefully things will pick up. Um, but, anyone who has watched it by the time this one's revealed, or anyone that's watched the backwards, or forwards, anyone who's seen this one and is now watching this one, um, may notice that my behaviour is a little different. Um, that would be because when I filmed the first one, my flatmate was in the house. Um, so I think I got a little self-conscious and uh, was worried about annoying him a lot. Uh, hopefully he doesn't come back before I finish this one, because halfway through you'll realise I'd start behaving differently. Um, now about the box itself, um, a little bit annoyed with that one. That one was uh, obviously October's box, and because I've looked at the packaging for this one already, I realised that, well, I already knew that some subscription boxes, they do themes depending on the time of the year. Obviously last one's was October, which was Halloween, so a little annoyed that nothing in that one was particularly Halloween-y. Um, Halloween-y, what a word. Um, so I would have preferred a Halloween related box. I mean, I know certain beauty, beauty companies like Lush, for instance, they bring out Halloween and Christmas themed products. So a little upset that that one wasn't related because this one, even though it's November and not December's box, this one appears to be Christmas related. Unless we get two Christmases and no Halloween. I prefer Halloween. Um, I also noticed that if uh, you did watch the last one, there was a little... Obviously there was this magazine. You get an L magazine in every one apparently. Huge magazine. Um, but uh, when I got into the box there was another... Not quite a magazine but a leaflet thing. That I ignored last time, because I thought it was just a product catalogue, whatever. Turns out I actually told you about the products in the box, so this time we're going to actually pay attention to that. Um, so, let's get into it. Obviously, same company as before, look fantastic. Um, I still can't remember how much my box was. I get the 12-month uh, subscription box, which is the cheapest, um, obviously because you're signing up to a contract, um, and I know I pay £11 something, I think it's 11 
great British pounds um, per month for my box. And there should be six products in the box. Right. I have opened the first box. Comes in a regular delivery box. If I keep squinting, I'm not wearing my glasses because otherwise I'll show you. Otherwise, you, you can't see my face. Can't be asked to put my contacts in at this time of night either, just to take them out. So I'm just going to do it blind because that's way more fun than generic seeing, right? And obviously, the L magazine was on top of this. But look, we have snowflakes. Let's see if it... <laughs> Let's see if it's so good. See, look fantastic. And this one is Sparkle. I believe if I remember correctly, last month's was relaxing or pamper pamper. And it said something about relaxing on it. <laughs> can never get the box out of the box. I never get my fingers trapped down the side of the box. Boxes within boxes within boxes. It's like a Russian doll. So, white and silver box with very pretty little snowflakes all over. It's now upside down. Oh, look at me shaking a box. So smart. I've not got my glasses on, so if I'm in and out of focus, that's because I can't see. So to me, everything's blurry. Right, white and silver. Lid is off. Now, I remember from last time they tend to have something written in the lid. This time it says dream big, sparkle more, and shine bright. As you can see, or I hope you can see because I can't see. So there's the lid. And this, this is the lid of magazine that I wasn't paying attention to last time. And it has a little, I say competition, it's more of a prize draw on the back. It says, win an exclusive party inspired beauty bundle with instructions on how to enter on the back of the magazine. So I may enter that later. And what I will show you is, yeah, in the first few pages, it shows you what's in the box. Perfect for me since I say that this is what's in the box. So we'll keep that at hand because last time I was fumbling around like an idiot because I didn't know what these things were. I'm still fumbling. But yeah, fumbling around like an idiot because I don't know what these things are. But that is why I do this because I want my experience to be your experience. Your experience. Um, like, why would you want to listen to a professional write about professional things? I can't listen to professionals. They're boring. I'm not boring. Oh, anyway, um, but everything's going to fall out. Last month's box had baby pink tissue paper. This month is black. Um, this is how you know I haven't cheated and peaked. Because there's a little sticker here, sticking down the tissue paper. I love surprises. So, let's rip the tissue paper trying to get the sticker off. And fold, folding, folding, folding the edges back. Ooh! I can't see it, I can still see sparkle. We like sparkle. It looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven items this month actually. Which is surprising. I was expecting six items each month. So who knows, maybe it's a Christmas special. So but there will be pauses where I'm reading things with no eyes. Uh, so bear with me. I will edit them out as best as I can. But if I start skipping about it's my editing skills. My editing skills got skill suck. There we go. Now this, I know what this is. <laughs> so I don't have to look at anything. Wouldn't help if I had to look at anything because nothing's actually important written on it. It says, look fantastic. 
It's a nail file. Or, for posh people, an emery board. <laughs> Honestly, I don't need to check the book. It's a nail file. Nail file? It's a very good nail file. I just took it out and it's a nail file. My file now. File my nail. Sparkly one side. A beautiful silvery sparkle. While I try and focus while being blind. Genius. I can't see just through now. And on the other side, which is still nail filey, so it look fantastic. That is handy because I'm constantly breaking my nails and then they're all wonky. Need to sort my nails out. So that is item number one. Let's just check the book because there might be something fantastic about it because to me it's just a nail file. A useful nail file, but a nail file. Ooh. I may be blind, but I can't see a nail file anywhere in here. I don't know what boys I'm doing. My hair's attacking me. Okay, I've already been through this thing once. I'm going through it again. It's nothing about a nail file, so that must be like a Christmas bonus item. I don't know. I don't know how this works. We'll find out as I keep getting them. Now, this one is the next item on the top. And it is an angled blending brush. Now, I do love my blending of my eyeshadow. Angled blending brush. It also says on it, look good, feel better. I can't read from this far. It says supporting women with cancer. So, all up, all up, always up for supporting great causes. And I can't open it. It's like plastic does not want to go past plastic. So we break it instead. Why not? It's fine. As long as don't break the brush that isn't coming out. Um, let's see what it says. Look Good, Feel Good is the only worldwide cancer charity providing practical support for women and teenagers struggling with the visible side effects of their cancer treatment. We always love supporting great causes, um, especially Unique, because they have their Protect the Innocent range which I highly recommend. There's great stuff in there. I'm literally just stroking the back of my hand and that is so soft. I'm gonna love that. Gonna add that to my... I don't know why I'm bothering putting my hand there considering it doesn't all get focus. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna add it to my collection. I don't have a wide range of great makeup brushes at the minute. Um, I only have a few from Unique. Eventually I will get the full set. But I mean I love this one. I will definitely be using that one. Now we've got lots of bottles and tubes and stuff so we're going to leave them for last. Now this next product is from Model Co. Interesting. Um, it is a brush cheek powder, and it is in, you need to focus, you need to self-focus, I need an auto-focus or something. Peach Bellini, now I'm shaking. Peach Bellini pressed powder. I believe it also says sheer, right? There. Everything's backwards. So it's a sheer pressed powder. <laughs> I have to get words. It's been a long day. I can't be doing this uni and then videoing. Now it makes sense. But that's fine. So, it comes in in a little black box with... Which way do I cut? No. Whatever. Blush written on it. This box actually reminds me of the packaging for Lush. You know, the black with white writing and this. The way they've written blush looks like the uh, font on blush products. I will get my words 
out the swear. So again, it's a shiny black container and a unless I'm colour blind, the writing is in silver on the box. On the actual product itself. We'll get through this together. You may have gained confidence since uh, doing my first live on Facebook at the weekend. Anyway, this is this is uh, the blusher. Does anyone call it blusher anymore? Or is it just blush or rouge? Or is rouge a colour of blush? I don't know. Anyway, it looks pretty fair there. Something moving in the lid. Okay, it originally had a plastic cover on it, but that ended in the lid for some reason. Mm. What use is it in the lid? It looks like really pale on the video, but it's actually quite dark. Let's see if I can swatchy, swatchy, swatchy. It's not I need too many hands to do this stuff. Compare my fingers. Yeah, you look at my fingers. It's um already pink. Fairly bright. Um I was gonna say I don't wear blush very often, but considering I don't have a contouring kit at the minute, it's the only thing that I do wear on my face other than foundation and concealer. Um, but the yes, I am wiping my blush out on my chair. Uh, but the blush I actually own is quite pale and it's not very pigmented, so I'm definitely going to give this a fair chance. Uh, let's see. There is nothing of interest on the back, so may as well. Move on to the next product. We are three down and four to go. So this one will be next. Ooh, this looks fancy. It says profe pro professional. What? Professional Sebastian Volupt Spray. Volume Building Spray Gel. Spray Gel. We shall see. We shall give it a go. My, mm, my hair is pretty thick, but because it's thick, it tends to, um, seems very well. Pretends to, pretends to. Maybe I shouldn't do videos during the week. Maybe I should wait till the weekends. But then I just sleep, so. It tends, now I know what I'm talking about. Because it's thick, it tends to get really heavy. If I'm really thin looking, but it's really thick. It's way down. Um, of course, it's usually a lot worse when it's longer. It looks a bit more poofy when it's shorter. But I have tried all the volumizing sprays and all sorts. I have root sprays and stuff like that. So we'll definitely give this a try. Let's show you the actual bottle. I wish I could get rid of that line of light that I have no idea where it's coming from because there's no light sources here. And focus please. So 50 milliliter bottle. Looks all fancy. Who knows? Because this isn't all live, so you can't tell me. Anyway, now I'm going to try it right now, obviously. Um, I will give it a good go. But we're going to spray it and we're going to smell it. Or not. There we go. I like it. it smells like a salon. Everyone loves the salon smell. It's like a new car smell. But I wouldn't know because I can't drive. No new car for me. But. We like that one. We're going to give it a go. We're going to give everything a go. Um, and a fact, a fact, 
In fact, I will probably do a little bit at the end, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit at the end of the video to give you my thoughts on the products from last month. Nearly said last week. Feels like last week to me. Now, ooh, this one feels heavy. It is a L'Oreal product. We all know L'Oreal. I know L'Oreal. Is it L'Oreal because you're worth it? Something's because you're worth it. This is L'Oreal. <laughs> uh, it says L'Oreal Professional. And it is a mythic oil. Nourishing oil for all hair types. Again, focus. She always back and forth for me. Looks like a golden... I don't know if it's a golden spray or a golden ball. But it's golden, whatever it is. That way. Mythic oil. I do love my nourishing oil. Uh, because I dye and style my hair a lot. Um, and I don't get to cut my hair as often as I like. I only cut it when I'm at home for holidays and stuff. Because I trust my hairdresser and I ain't going nowhere else. Um, my hair can get pretty damaged. Um, so to survive long enough to get it cut, I use argan oil, shampoo and conditioner. Really good for my hair. Um, so we'll definitely give this a go. Uh, don't know if it's the same thing as argan oil. But it has avocado oil in it. And is grapeseed oil a thing? I've heard of rapeseed oil. But apparently this has grapeseed in it. Grapeseed oil. And a lot of the chemicals. Um, nothing worth saying because who knows chemicals. I'm a scientist and I barely know chemicals. Anyway, taking the lid off, so let's see. It is a pump lid. Put it right there. Pump, 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 pump lid. Watching traffic. People watching. People watching my blind is useless. Right. Pump ball. Let's see if it's golden. It looks golden. Okay, that's pumped in nothing. Let the spray all over again. What are we doing with our life? Okay, it took three pumps to get some out. It's very runny. Feels very oily. See, when I've used serums before and stuff, uh, my hair gets... See, it's all over my fingers. I don't know if you can see that because, like, focus and it's clear. But my fingers are very oily. But when I've used serums before, just makes my hair really greasy, uh, which is why I think I prefer my argan oil shampoo and conditioner. It's going on my jeans. Okay, my argan oil shampoo and conditioner because you because it's not an oil; it's a shampoo and conditioner. Um, it smells pretty good. Can't compare it to my soap. It's very soapy. Um, but because it's a shampoo and conditioner, you're washing it straight out. Um, and obviously if a shampoo or a conditioner made your hair greasy, you'd be complaining, wouldn't you? Um, so I do love my shampoo and conditioner, but I'm going to try and use that on top as well. But obviously I'll, my fingers feel so smooth and soft now. Um, but I'll do the similar thing to when I've used serums before, and I use as little as possible to avoid my hair going greasy. Oh my! Right, the worms this month. Really? Did I just steal someone else's saying? Didn't mean to. Anyone who realises who that's from is Bunny. I watch Bunny so much I've uh, adapted, adopted her sayings apparently. The... I want to say worms because I don't know what they are. The itchy paper stuff. It's black this month. But it's all in one corner. All the products have pushed it aside. And, oh, no, just picked the tissue paper off and nothing else. It's, no. Like, all the products were 
in this corner and the thingy were in the other corner. So they're almost working their way under the thingies. That's it, I'm just going to call them thingies now. I'm not allowed to call them anything else. Anyway, oh, now this is interesting. Because I don't get anything for my feet. My feet ain't special. I don't even buy my own socks. Socks are a Christmas thing. Socks, pants and pyjamas. My hell. I buy my own pyjamas sometimes. But they're all Christmas things. They're like, for people who can't think what to get you. Socks and pants. So yeah, I don't buy anything for my feet. Oh wait, no, I buy shoes. Shoes don't count. You need shoes. I don't buy things for my feet. But this one is by Bloom and Blossom. Gonna have to check them out. That sounds like an interesting company. Revitalizing leg and foot spray. Not quite sure why there's a bunch of letters, not letters. Bunch of numbers on the bottom of the spray bottle on the label. So Bloom and Blossom Revitalize Revitalizing. Revitalizing leg and foot spray. Random numbers. Um every time I think every time I go to focus this thing, I actually end up helping it. I was gonna say something. This bottle reminds me of the snack. That was it. This is probably the wrong idea. Shouldn't be imaging this, but this looks pretty medicinal to me. Like, you know, I don't know what I'm thinking of, like, prescription pill bottles or something. I mean, I'm from the UK, we don't get pill bottles, we get blister packs. But it's like, I think it's the fact that it's brown with a white label and I don't know. Ignore me. It looks medicinal. We're going to smell if it smells de smells medicinal. I'm going to have to slow my speech, or I'm never going to get any words out. I like how, since the nail file, I haven't referred back to the book. We'll look at it at the end to see if I've forgotten anything. So, let's smell it. Let's see how many sprays it takes. One, two, three, four. It sounds like it's doing it. I think that was seven. Smells like crit stick. I suppose anything that goes on your feet. Unless it smells like mint, it's not supposed to smell nice. I don't know. It smells like glue stick. Crit stick. Um we'll give it a go though. We'll try it on my feet and my legs. Especially after work on a Friday night. My feet need all the help they can get, otherwise I can never get out of bed the next day. That's too much to stand. Now, last but not least, toothpaste tube. What is it? Soothing Touch Recovery Balm by Monu Skin. I'm sorry, I felt something in my throat when I was trying to say that. Monu Skin. And it is for all skin types, plus sensitive or stressed. There's something all over it. I think there's like um, dust, not dust, but like powder from the thingies all over this, so there's little black dust on it. So, let's show my new skin soothing touch recovery balm. Uh, now look at my face, my beautiful face. I might use this as a hand cream. It doesn't say specifically what part of the body to use it on. I suppose it's for anywhere. Um, but it does say to use every morning and evening after cleansing and toning. Oh, it says avoid contact with the eyes, so it might be for the face. But not for the eyes. We're going to refer to the book. 
Wat pijnlijk, als een last product. Ik zeg een paar dan. Put that on the floor. It's actually on a beanbag. We can now refer to the book to see what it is. Okay. It is for your face by the sounds of it. Says so the skincare secret helps to refresh and revitalize your complexion, leaving you glowing. Okay, so we're going to try it on our faces. We'll see. Um, oh my eye, I'm so tired. The no glasses thing makes me tired, so I'll start rubbing my face. I'm so good. Right, the ingredients, according to the book, include rose essential oil, great for sensitive skin, and even the scent up flips. Up flips. That's not even close to up lifts. It uplifts the senses. We're going to smell it in a minute because I forgot I haven't smelled it. Evening primrose oil, rich in essential fatty acids. Fatty acids to me does not sound like a good thing, but apparently it is. It helps to restore your skin's lipid layer. Now for anyone that's not a scientist, lipid is a biological term for the word fat. So it helps replace and replenish your face's fat layer. To me that sounds greasy. We'll see. We'll see. Peptides, another science word. These help soothe your skin, calming redness and sensitivity. I could do with that. My chin especially is always red for some reason. My chin and my nose. And black currant seed oil. We've had grape seed oil and now we've got black currant seed oil. We learn things. An amazing source of omega-3 and 6 to soothe and hydrate. Hydrating is never a bad thing. So, let's go back through now. Let's smell the rose thingy. Then, take up the safety deal. Then we'll go back through the book and see if there's anything we've missed. I will check the time. Jesus, it's 23 minutes past five. It got this for 32 minutes now. But yeah, I need to check the time because when my flatmate, when my flatmate gets home, we're cooking the heaters because it's Thursday. Anyway, lovely Barney. Barney, Barney, Barney. Barney, Barney, Barney. Smells fragrant. I could be smelling other things as well, considering this is the hand I put the mystic oil on. But, the smell light, flowery, maybe rosy. It had the rose oil in it. But, rub it in. And it is. Okay, I do feel mild greasiness, but probably not. Too much for me to handle on my face. Um, we're going to give it a try, but I am prone to like spot breakout. So okay, now muscled it in. Massaged it in. That's the word. It's not helping me. Now I've still can't say massaged. Now I've massaged it in. It does smell rosy. It smells like a tea I used to drink a lot. Uh, I believe it was Twining's tea. It was Rose Garden tea. So it definitely smells rosy to me. Love the smell. Uh, we'll just see if it's any good on my face. If it's not good on my face, I'll probably just use it on my hands because it smells amazing. Right. The first thing in the Book of Knowledge. I've said that already this month. Like, anyone that knows me knows I do forensic science, um, and one of my modules is ballistics and firearms. Never shot a gun yet, though. It'll happen. 
before the end of the year. I feel that. Might not be a roller, but we'll see. And in one of our labs, we get the joys of looking at head stamps on cartridge casings from bullets. I want to get my words out. I know what I'm talking about. This is forensic science. I know this stuff. I don't know this stuff, but I know that stuff. Um, and there is a massive thick book um, of all the codes that you can get on head stamps. Head stamps is the right word. I keep thinking hand stamps, but that's wrong. Head stamps um, for all the manufacturers. I call that the book of knowledge. This is the makeup book of knowledge. That's the guns book of knowledge. Technically, it's cartridge book of knowledge, not the guns book of knowledge. But this is the makeup book of knowledge. I nearly couldn't say that again. First thing is the mystic oil. Ooh, and it says, as the Christmas parties draw closer, we want to make sure you look and feel your most fantastic. I don't think that was specifically about the mystic oil. I think it was like the opening paragraph. So the mystic oil is professional myth. It's not mystic, it's mythic. Just to confuse you, you called it wrong. Mythic oil. That's not as easy to say. It's a lightweight hair treatment and it's infused with avocado and grapeseed oil. I already told you this, I'm on it, I'm on the ball. To nourish the hair and protect, uh, protect not protect, provide antioxidant protection. Protectors in there uh, against environmental aggravators. Stops it being frizzy and flowery. So it makes it shiny. Shiny! We like shiny. Okay. We have done the recovery balm, the monu, monu skin, so we won't talk about that. But this little book of knowledge tells you about the rest of the monu family. So, it tells you that the founding vision was created 25 years ago. Obviously, there's not a whole lot to tell you about the brush or the blusher, brush and blusher, brush and blusher. But, according to this, the brush, shouldn't have made a song about it, uh, was one of the finalists of the CEW Beauty Awards 2016. And the blush gives a natural hint of colour to the cheek, thanks to its lightweight texture, making it great to use on all skin types. So we'll give it a go. I didn't read anything about my foot spray. Was it a spray? Yeah, it was a spray. I didn't read nothing. What about my foot spray? Does that mean that was an extra as well? Oh, wait, no. I'm still decided. <laughs> I was on this side. Now I'm on this side. Oh dear lord, 38 minutes, yay. Okay, because I forgot the volup spray as well, because I put it behind the screen. Volup, who says volup? Volup chores, yes. Anyway, if volume and lift are what you're looking for, then the volup spray by Sebastian will be your new best friend. Apparently it uses unique cushion particle technology. Don't know what that is. And in the little circle at the bottom, it says this non-sticky formula builds volume in the hair without ever making it look greasy or feel stiff. Good. If it doesn't make it feel any different, that's a little bit. Now the revitali yes, revitalizing foot spray, foot and leg spray. You can put it on your legs as well if you get sore calves. I get sore calves if I've walked a long time. But that's just me. Um, it's ideal for relieving aching limbs and putting a spring back into your step. Oh, it contains a blend of horse chestnut seed. There's a lot of seeds here, but the other two were seed oil. And yellow sweet clover extract. 
to alleviate water tension and provide to our tired legs. If I hadn't broken the seal, I might have made that a Christmas gift. I may still make it a Christmas gift, I'll just peel the rest of the sticker off. It's fine. Um, it smells absolutely divine. It smelled like soap. No, did it? Something smelled like soap. Let's re smell! We smell the smell. What's that smell? Glue stick! It smells like glue stick, that's the one. Something smells like soap. Maybe the oil. That smells like glue stick. Now I'll double check that with my flatmate and see if he smells glue stick, but I smell glue stick. Oh, it says it smells divine thanks to its blend of tangerine leaf and aloe vera. No, it's not no tangerine. Aloe vera, maybe. Aloe vera is a bit gluey. <laughs> and then it gives you handy hints on how to get curls. The classic curl by GHD. And it tells you, I'll have to read this so you can read the reading. Read the read. The kit is the GHD Curl Hold Spray, the GHD Curve Curl Tom, and the GHD Paddle Brush. Any brush will Any paddle brush will do. Brushes are brushes, really, until, until you get the tangly horse brush. And then, what I thought this magazine did in the first place last time, is it gives you product ideas and information. See, I can't see them. And this time, it says it's Christmas gift guide. So, useful. I'll give it a gander. Because it looks like there's a couple of sets in here, so I might get some sets for Christmas. Maybe that is why they send this one out in October. We're not in October, in November. This is why, this is probably why they give you a Christmas you want in November. So you've still got time to buy the products from them in time for Christmas. Just saying, I need to sneeze. So badly. I need to sneeze. It's not going to happen. I'm going to make you sit there and watch me for five minutes while I try and sneeze. Don't worry, I'll edit this out. <coughs> there we go. <laughs> um, right. Last month's product. Right, this is where I can't remember any of them, right? We had the Lip Balm by Polaire. Still can't pronounce that company. That smelled nice, tastes nice. The product packaging, not so nice. Anyone that's seen that video, it was... Actually, it's probably my makeup bag, but makeup bag's behind the table. Anyone that's seen the video can remember that I couldn't get that stuff out of the lip balm container. My flatmate had to take the thing out to put it back in again. But now, every time I try and squeeze it to put it on my lips, the, the tip pops out. When it tries to pop out, I usually stop it in time, but who knows. So that one, maybe if I got it in the tin, like a Vaseline tin, it'd be a great product. Not in that container. Product sure. Right then. The lip liner. I can't for the life of me remember who that was by. Pause with me. I'm gonna get my makeup back. <sighs> Most of the products are in my makeup bag, apart from the two that are in the bathroom, still bathroom related. So I may have to go and fetch those. Aha! Help Perfection by Laura Geller. I knew it was a girl's name. This Absolutely amazing, not very easy to sharpen. I've used it enough times now that I need to sharpen it. Stumpy. But, apart from that, love the colour. Really creamy, goes great with all my lipsticks. Absolutely love that. What else was there? Not gonna lie. I haven't used this renaissance mask yet, so I may have that until the end of another video. Uh, that's three products, right? Can't remember the rest. Right, the yoga. Yoga is a word in there somewhere.
um, going into a dark bathroom via walking through a flat that's dark with no glasses on. Not the brightest idea in the box. Right. Mio liquid yoga. Can you yoga was there somewhere? The restorative bath soak. This one that smells like tea tree and mint. Does it smell like mint? Something smells like mint. Yeah, tea tree. That. Loved it. Um, came home from work one Friday night at about 3, 4. Got straight in the bath with that. Like, I'm so wired after a Friday night at work. Wired's not the right word. Where I come from, wired means like hyper. But when I said to someone at work the other day that I was wired, they said, why, what have you taken? Like, apparently here, wired means high. Anyway, really high for after work, so I have a bath to like relax me before bed, and that was amazing. I actually fell asleep in the bath, and I uh, loved that. Just hurt myself on the last product that I can find. I don't know what the sixth product was. I can only find five, but it was the caviar anti-aging hair oil thing that confused me because I know what the last product was. Say somewhere. Anyway, um. Anti-aging to me is for your face. Anyway, that product is not so great. Can't find it all. Um, I used it one day. I used it because it's a pre-shampoo treatment. I used it before I used my argan oil shampoo and conditioner. And I can't fully blame this, I don't know if it was that that caused it, but I have really thick, knotty, stiff, slightly greasy hair that day. Like, I did that in the morning before my lectures and I didn't have time to have another shower. I had to go to my lectures like that, like self-conscious because my hair was awful. As soon as I came back I got back in the shower, like I had to wash it out. So I should probably give it another try, just in case it wasn't that, but I, I don't know, I'm a little apprehensive about it. I might have to do it on a weekend when I've not got anything on, so I don't have to go anywhere. The other product was the Murad. Murad something. I can't remember exactly what it was. See, I'm looking for it in my makeup bag, but no glasses. Can't see. I remember it now because it was annoying me that it was in a box but there was a divider in the box so that it was only in half the box found it. Intensive sea radiance peel. Still haven't tried that. So this and the Renaissance Osaka London mask I will use before the next one. Got shot. And I will let you guys know if it works out. Anyway, thank you for being with me today through all my hyperactivity and my inability to speak the English language like an English person. Anyone would think I was from a different country until they heard my accent. Maybe not. Uh, and I apologise for my inability to see. Hopefully next time I will do this video the weekend so it won't be so late on and I'll put my contacts in. But... I don't know. Let me know if you don't mind seeing this, because I don't know how people with glasses do YouTube, apparently. And I've now realised that this video is not in focus. <laughs> I am blind to that. Uh, I tried to over-focus it. No, I didn't. Wait, what did it do? I don't know. I'm still blind with these glasses on. So if you don't mind seeing this, let me know. If you do, I'll put my contacts in next time and I'll actually time it right at the weekend. Anyway, 50 minutes now I've been recording. Let's see how much of this I can edit out so that you don't get bored out of your brains. And I promise I will do my unique presenters kit. Um, it's just not a pressing matter at the minute but so many deadlines and it's not like it's a reveal. I've already opened it. I knew what was coming in it anyway. But thank you and I will uh, hopefully not take two weeks next time my next video. Right. Bye guys.